Today I wanted to show a little 900 megahertz antenna that I made as a, a temporary test antenna. You've probably seen the antennas that are made with just an SO239 with some radials strung off the corners. This one is made with a SO239 but I had a little bracket that I bought at a ham swap that already had the SO239 on it. And what I ended up doing, instead of putting radials off of this, I'm, I cut a piece of aluminum I had, aluminum, and it already had a hole drilled in it here. That There's no reason for that. But anyway, this gives the ground plane. And here's the radiating element. And this radiating element is cut to uh, 927.5 megahertz. It's about 3.1 inches long. And it actually just plugs in. You could change out this element to a, for a different frequency if you wanted. So it just plugs in there and uh, I don't know that you would want to use this as a permanent antenna. I, I don't know what the um, SWR on it is. Normally the radials droop a little bit to raise the impedance. So this might be, instead of 50 ohm impedance, might be 25 ohm impedance. Um, but anyway, it works as a test antenna here and I'll show you in a moment. I'll hook it up to a uh, 900 megahertz radio and uh, transmit on it. Here's my example setup. I've got a um, Kenwood THF6 handheld that I'll use for receive on the B band. Here's a close up of the radio so you can see what frequency it's set to 927.5 and I've got a Motorola MCS 2000 radio. Let's turn this on. I've already got the power supply on. Okay, uh, the way I've coded this front panel, if you can read this, it's 7 underscore 5 S dash C 26. And what that really means is it's 927.5 simplex carrier operated and it's channel 26. Uh, so let's turn this on and I'm hooked up to the little antenna this one and I'm gonna key up on the microphone here test one two three one two three test 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 this is N6 TWW testing so I know this is really close or in close proximity to the antenna um, I could probably transmit without an antenna and this radio would receive it this close but it's just to show you that this setup works. Uh, I did want to show one other thing remember I talked about the SO239's uh, ground planes are normally drooped down or tilted down a little bit. Here's another variation of an antenna that's a ground plane antenna. Normally people will have an SO239's with a four screws at the corner with the radials coming down from it. This is this is a ground plane, but it only has two radials and it's hooked on to the PL259 connector rather than on the base. So you can just plug this in to any SO239 and it would work. I know it's a little bit uh, crude looking right now, some of the paint is peeled off, but I've used this one a long time. And in the place that I had this hooked up, I could only use two radials. So anyway, that's it on the uh, the test antenna setup. Again, I'll give you another look. That's from the, the bottom side, top side. This is the type that just screws on with a nut rather than four screws. And again, this element can unplug. You could change element sizes for a different frequency if you wanted. Anyway, just a different variation on a um, ground plane antenna using an SO239 connector.